Hi there, Simon from Manchester Wine School here. Happy Saturday. Um, it's uh, it starts to rain, and uh, I did the video outside yesterday, but I'm not going to be able to do that today. Uh, but the wine I've got is probably a more an indoorsy winter wine uh, for perfect for weather like this. It, what is it? It's Lane Wheeler's Barolo, made for them by um, the brothers Osvaldo and Bruno Cabuto of Tenuta La Volta. Barolo. Oh, it's, um, I, I love Barolo. It, Barolo for me is one of those wines that you can sit and sniff at. I mean, this wine's just come out of a cold cellar. Um, so I won't be getting around to drinking it for probably about an hour or so. We've, uh, there's a pub down the road called The Navigation and they've got an excess of food in their freezers that they're trying to get rid of. So tonight we're on a fine dish of their cheese and onion pie, which has just been delivered by uh, the lovely Sue and uh, or one of her cohorts. I don't know whether it's going to be the perfect wine for this, but I open Barolo because my wife's not a big fan of Barolo. And I know if I open it, I probably get that fifth glass that sometimes we fight over. Uh, but this one, I had a bit of a sniff before I started this and it smells, it smells like it's going to be, uh, uh, yeah, getting to uh, a nice stage in about an hour. Let's have another sniff. What I like here is there's a wildness about it. There's this juicy, rounded red berry fruit with a little bit of the, that fruit having... Uh, uh, not, not not exactly cooked, but if you if you make um, a, a strawberry sauce, chop the strawberries up, shove them in the pan, a bit of sugar in there, and the ooze that comes out after about um, after about a half a minute or maybe uh, a yeah, minute or so. So there's that, but there's also what I call this iron rich wildness. It feels like it's been dragged out of a rock rather than a a, 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 a piece of soil, um, and maybe a rock surrounded by iron gates. If that's not a bit pretentious. But it uh, smells good, let's have a taste. So it's got that lovely, juicy, succulent fruit, but then it's got these other bits in, the rocks, the flowers, the undergrowth, the iron, um, and a bit of spice in there even. I don't think it's oak spice or anything like that. It just seems to have got uh, a little touch of something slightly exotic. Uh, juicy, rounded, but with this firmness about it. Uh, and I think it's, it, as I say, it's come out of a coolish cellar. I think as it as it warms up, that's going to it's going to soften a little bit, and time will do it uh, as well as well as the, the the rising temperature. So I'm really looking forward to having that in um, in about an hour or so, and I'm really looking forward to having that fifth glass. But um, tasty wine. Hope you're on something uh, tasty this evening. Um, maybe I don't know about cheese and onion pie and Barolo. Whether it's a classic food and wine combination, maybe this is the evening when that combo is born. Anyway, have a good evening, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you soon.